Amazing Astronaut reporting in. Heroes Reborn is a comic line from Image Comics using Marvel properties, each going for 13 issues. Rob Liefeld had Captain America and the Avengers, while Jim Lee had Iron Man and the Fantastic Four. Though halfway through, Jim Lee took over Liefeld's titles. Also, this is how you do review after reading a comic series months ago and now decide to review it. So please like and subscribe. Thank you. The Fantastic Four series is boring. Like the most boring thing you will ever read. At least Jim Lee's art is pretty. This comic tried to reintroduce crowds of people every damn issue. Iron Man is half a Hulk comic, but was actually pretty fun and Hulk felt very cool. Naked. It's probably bad when I'm focusing more on Hulk than Iron Man himself. Avengers is just plain bad throughout. Its beginning undermines the entire line with Loki wondering about the past universe. Also, it has a weird Hellcat mix with Tigra. Oh, and they made Kang a simp for Enchantress. Maybe that can happen in the Loki show. Captain America is probably the best Liefeld comic book ever. And when he leaves, the quality actually goes downhill. For example, after Rob leaves, Captain America puts a guy in a tar pit. Also, the most iconic Captain America image does not appear in this comic, only for promotional purposes. This publishing line had two crossover events. Well, three. But we'll get to that. First was the Industrial Revolution, which in this case had no consequences for the line. Something something Hulk and nuclear reactor is a bad mix. The second was a finale crossover with Galactus invading. It actually had a nice send-off with the Captain America issue. The last crossover was the ones with the issue 13 on them which was a crossover with the Wildstorm universe. It was later bought by DC, and getting a movie with the authority. It's the worst James Robinson comic ever. It's undecipherable. The very worst of Heroes Reborn. The Heroes Reborn line ended with Heroes Return by Peter David and Salvador LaRocca. No chance I pronounced that right. It's better than anything in Heroes Reborn. Also, this place was a bubble universe the whole time as foreshadowed in Hulk Admiral 97. Later, there were some random one-shots that tied into Chris Claremont's Fantastic Four and Fabian Nietzsche Thunderbolts. Doom was about the Doctor Doom teleporting into the ruins of Heroes Reborn, now called Counter-Earth, which really bothers me because that's the High Evolutionary deal. There is also a small little Doom series after this. Young Allies is about a cowboy who can turn into a horseman getting into a super team with a female version of Bucky. Masters of Evil was a character study of Whirlwind from the Iron Man series. Asma was about the Siestral from the Return miniseries, as forementioned. Revenants was about a bunch of child stars fighting evil mainly the Swordsman of the Avengers team, became the Deadpool of this universe, or I guess world. The Rebel comes back as a cyborg cowboy. He later shows up in Thunderbolts, and the finale of these one-shots, so to speak, was called Doomsday. It was kinda meh. Some years later, Exiles gets a crossover of Heroes Reborn. I love Exiles. Read that comic. Please, it's so much better than any of this. <laughs> Also later, an Onslaught Reborn miniseries from 2008 comes out. It's not good by any stretch of the imagination, but it's better than what it deserves. Also has a whole page on TV tropes about Kanuni snarls. Well, I guess that's the end of the video. Oh, side note, this line is completely unrelated to the Jason Aaron Avengers event. Thank you, Marvel, for that. Amazing Astronaut reporting out.